Hello, my name is Abdullah Oz. I am a visiting lecturer in the Information Systems Department at Monte Ahuja College of Business. Before I had applied to participate in this symposium, I had very limited knowledge about open educational resources. I think I was lucky as I had the chance to use one OER in my doctoral program before joining CSU. We used an OER for our research framework seminar and that was a really good quality book. And at, at that time and now, I admire this professor's efforts to create a reliable and affordable resource for those who want to improve their research skills. So when I learned that there are symposiums organized at CSU, I didn't want to wait even for a minute to apply for it. So although I saw uh, Creative Commons or the abbreviation and symbol CC in some of the books and articles, I didn't know its meaning and how I didn't know how it worked. So the modules in the symposium during the summer helped me to understand these different types of copyright licenses. Furthermore, I learned websites on which I can search for OERs to use in my classes. So this symposium added a new call goal to my teaching career to utilize affordable teaching resources and OERs, but not only limited to project management. I want to use them also in my other classes later. I started using OERs in my project management courses in the summer. This semester, fall 2021, I teach four courses to Master of Information Systems students and I included four OERs in the syllabus. So the best advantage for me was that I found myself in a situation that led me to plan to create a new OER. So I applied for the grant and it was approved. So I'm working on the chapters with a great team composed of Mandy, Barb and Ben. And we are hoping to finish this new OER before the end of 2021 and publish it in January 2022. Of course, I cannot just keep this opportunity for myself. I need to share it with others. So this is why I also started uh, writing a new OER, remixing and creating new content. But I also started talking with my colleagues in my department. So I had the chance to talk uh, to, the, to the professors in my department. And they were also excited to hear about the alternatives that we have apart from the commercial textbooks. Some of them expressed their willingness to adapt OERs in their courses. However, it is of high importance to demonstrate the benefits of OERs and low-cost materials to other fac faculty members and also how faculty can access them and utilize them in their courses. I also had the chance to get feedback from my students regarding the use of OERs, and I was happy to learn that they benefited from these resources. They highlighted some aspects. For example, they could read these books on their laptops and mobile devices easily. Some of them preferred to download a PDF version and a few of them printed some pages to highlight some text and take notes. They also liked the cases and examples given in each chapter. So I strongly recommend other faculty to explore these open education resources. We are lucky at CSU since we have people at CSU library who dedicated themselves to advocating tax affordability. So they are the best references that we can learn more. There is even an affordability advocate newsletter, which we can learn more about what is happening in this field and what we can expect later. There is an, also, there is an introductory and self-paced Blackboard course from which you can learn about copyright, creative common licensing and great grant opportunities at CSU for textbook affordability. And also you can learn from this course uh, the locations where you can look for new OERs, more OERs. So thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity to express my comments about this symposium. Thanks again.